Hi, Ranger Ben here. We're gonna talk about some popular trees that you can find in our parks and in your neighborhood called conifers and some tips on how to ID them. Most conifers are evergreens. As the name suggests, the, these trees stay green all year round. There are some conifers like larches that do drop their needles in the fall, but the ones we're gonna look at today are evergreens. There are some characteristics that all conifers do share. All conifers have cones and all conifers have leaves that are needle or scale-like. Right behind us here is an eastern white pine. This is our largest conifer. It is often over 100 feet tall and has a very large trunk. Like all pine trees, uh, eastern white pine has, grows its needles in clusters, but unique to other pine trees in this area, the eastern white pine tree grows its uh, needles in clusters of five. So if you find a tree in your neighborhood, a pine tree, if it has needles and clusters of five, you will know that it's an eastern white pine. And also you can take a look at its pine cone. The eastern white pine cone is a little bit different than a lot of other pine cones. It's very long and often has a lot of resin on it. And a lot of pine cones have prickles on their scales. The scales hold the seeds underneath. Uh, this one does not have prickles on it, so it's very soft to touch and doesn't um, catch on you like other pine cones would. So behind me, we have another large conifer. This is an Eastern Hemlock. It's actually the Pennsylvania State tree. And one good way to identify it is to look at its needles. Unlike pine trees, hemlocks grow their needles out of their branches singly. And the hemlock needles are very flat. And if you look underneath them, they actually have two white lines called stomata. And that's a really easy characteristic to look at to identify them. And the cones of an eastern hemlock are very small and soft compared to an eastern white pine. All right, so right here we have a Norway spruce. While it's not a native uh, conifer, it's probably the most widely planted conifer, so it's probably the one that you'll see most often when you're driving around your neighborhood. Uh, one of the major characteristics of IDing this tree are the branches. They're very droopy, and also the twigs dangle down like tassels, like in an old Western shirt. So if you're traveling around your neighborhood and you see a very droopy tree, it's probably gonna be a, a Norway spruce. And the cones are a little bit different compared to say a uh, Eastern white pine, is that they're actually pretty prickly on the scales. And you'll notice them a lot on the branches when you're looking at them. They stand out a lot because they're a pretty light beige color. So those are the characteristics that I look at to identify this tree as a Norway spruce. So the needles of a Norway spruce are not as flat as a hemlock. So if you actually took one of these needles off, you could actually spin it between your fingers, whereas you couldn't do that with a, a Eastern hemlock because those needles are too flat. So that's another characteristic that is uh, pretty common for a spruce tree. All right, so we have another pine tree right here. This is a red pine. It has pretty unique bark in that it's very scaly and it has a reddish hue to it. Uh, it also is different than a eastern white pine that it has its clusters and clusters of two needles compared to five of the eastern white pine. And there are, other, there are other pine trees out there that do have clusters of two, but the unique thing about the red pine is that uh, if you bend the needles, they'll break really easily. With other pine trees with clusters of two, those needles will just bend and they won't break. The cones of a uh, red pine are pretty small compared to other cones, and these cones don't have prickles on them, uh, which is different from another pine tree that we're gonna look at that has cones that are similar size and shape, but do have prickles on them. Okay, for our last conifer, we have a pitch pine. It has bark that's pretty similar to a red pine and that is platy and scaly, but it has something that's really unique is that they have tufts of needle clusters that grow right out of the trunk. That's pretty unique for conifers, especially in this area. And also the cones are pretty unique in that they usually take around five years or so to fall off the tree. And they usually just fall off because they rot off because they don't actively want to come off the branch. So a lot of times you'll find these cones uh, on a dead branch on the ground like this one, just connected right to the branch. And these cones are way sharper than the red uh, pine cones. Uh, they have prickles on each scale, so if you pick one up, just be careful because they will be sharp. All right, well, thanks for joining me to look at some trees here. Uh, hopefully what you saw here and some of the tips that we talked about can help you ID some of these conifers when you come to our parks or when you're just walking around your neighborhood.